guys and welcome back to another Imprinter tutorial. Today what we're going to be actually covering is how to basically replace things in text for variables and things like that. Any basic, basic string will be able to replace it. And the other thing that we're going to be looking at is how to get substring parts of the text. So uh, I'll be covering the in-depth part of each section in kind of unison with each other so we'll be kind of covering it all at once but uh, replacing basically allows you to change the string and the um, substring text allows you to basically test for a specific section of it so I have two items in my hand right now uh, diamond and nether quartz and I have it set up so we can actually basically demonstrate how the both of these things actually work in unison so if we right click the diamond it will display a full code which I've assigned to a global variable for the player and the code basically is a0 b0 and c0 and then below I've basically used the substring text to get these parts right here of the code so the first one we're basically getting A0 and the second one we're getting B0 and the final one we're getting C0. So this could be used for a number of things. Uh, could be used for getting specific permission or say you could use this kind of string text to basically have the player level up on something if they do a certain task. And then you could basically test for a bunch of um, values and see if they have reached a certain level or not. Um, other uses for this would be uh, permissions or certain things like that as well. So you can use a whole bunch of different stuff and just keep leveling it up. Now the other part basically comes in if we want to replace these numbers. So we're going to be replacing C0 uh, with C4 if we right click on the nether quartz. So if we right click on the nether quartz we can see that we got the full code and then it basically says replace full code and then it basically says A0, B0 and then C4. So if we right click on the diamond again it will say C4 down at the bottom here and A, B and C and then 4, right? So let's go into mCrater and I'll show you the procedure that I have set up. Alright, so we're now in the procedure editor and I have basically set up this uh, procedure for the demonstration. I'll cover exactly what's going on here in just a second. The first two things that we're actually going to be covering are two particular blocks which are the substring uh, block right here, this one right here, and then we have the other one which is replace with. And these two blocks basically can be used for the system that we have above. It's not too hard to understand. The first thing that we're basically testing for is in the substring text is what variable we're basically testing for the script after which we're testing for a position. So the position starts with zero and then it requires the amount of number that you want to basically test for. So if you want to set test for your first two characters it would be zero and then your other character so one but you also have to add additional one to that number because Java basically subtracts one from the two position so in our case uh, we have basically gotten our first two characters uh, with this script right here so we've basically gotten a local variable which we have passed our global variable to our local variable due to uh, some compiling errors because if you use a global variable with this kind of system with the print text then it runs into a little bit of an issue with compiling so we pass it over to the local variable to make sure that we can actually run the script so after we've basically passed our local variable we know that our global variable our string which is I'm just going to put this for a reference a 0 b 0 and c 0 so this is our string that is from our global variable and we want to test for our a0 number right here so we can basically do that by doing this particular setup right here so our first character this one right here is 0 the one after it which is our 0 a0 part so the 0 and the a is 1 and then b is 
2 and then it just keeps counting up from that point. Now again like I said how Java basically works is it takes the position for the final position and then it subtracts one automatically so if you want to test for a0 you actually have to test for a range between a and b so this part right here so 0 1 2 and then it will only test for a0 because how java works <laughs> Outside of that, um, there is the replace block, which is a little bit different. It basically allows us to replace a certain text with a different text, and then we're getting it from a particular string. So in our case, what we've done here is we're basically doing this procedure right here. So we've used our substring text to find a very specific part of the string and then we're replacing it with C4, and then we're getting our local variable, which we've passed up above here from our global variable, so this part right here. So in our case, what we're doing is position four, which is our C right here, and to position six, which is our zero. Part. So C0, that's what we're basically testing for here. And then we're going to replace it with C4. And then we're last thing that we're doing is we're just going to make sure that it gets the string from the local variable that we basically set above. So that's basically all that's going on here. Um, again, replace. This is the part that you want to replace, the string that you want to replace, the text. So if you wanted to replace something very simple, you could also do something like C0 and replace that with C4 and the, or C5 or whatever, and that would also work. Um, this is just what you're replacing, and this is what you're replacing it with, and then you would also need where, where, wherever your string is to basically get it. So most cases it would probably be a local variable or a, some sort of string variable that would be in this part right here. So hopefully you guys found today's tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.